Our first guest is awesome. From the city of Moncton, the immigration strategy officer at Angelique Reddy Kalala. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm very good, very, very excited. Good. Really excited uh, tonight. Uh, so, immigration strategy officer, uh, tell us all about that. What, what exactly does your day look like? Uh, so I do a variety of things with the city of Moncton. Uh, I guess one of the main pillars would be to work with immigrant entrepreneurs that are looking to start businesses here in Moncton. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a wide variety of people that are now moving to our community. And so it's my role to work with our economic development team uh, to help provide them any services they need. I also work with local employers who are looking to fill their workforce needs. And we know that one of the great ways to do that is through um, uh, retaining our international students once they're done their post-secondary institution, their, their degrees, mm -hmm. uh, as well as working with immigrants that are moving to our community as well to help basically match them with local opportunities. Uh, and thirdly, the, one of the other main things would be also to um, help implement with our community partners uh, the Greater Moncton uh, Immigration Strategy. Mm -hmm. So, so that strategy, can you kind of give us like a Reader's Digest condensed version of that? Or? Sure, yeah. So uh, the strategy actually came to light in, um, it started actually all in 2013. So in 2013, uh, the city of Moncton, La Vie de Dieppe, and the city, town of Riverview, as well as uh, the province of New Brunswick, and, uh, had partnered on an uh, immigration summit that was hosted here in Moncton. We had over 200 attendees. Um, people from the business community, uh, Chamber of Commerce, settlement agencies, immigrants themselves, international students, um, and everyone indicated at that summit that we wanted to really continue our uh, economic and our population growth in the greater Moncton area. Uh, following that summit, consultations were done with about uh, two dozen stakeholders. Again, uh, you know, business community, settlement agencies, um, a variety of key sectors were covered. Um, and following that, uh, the creation of the Greater Moncton Immigration Strategy uh, took place. Uh, and so within the strategy, there are um, mainly three main objectives, uh, th main themes. So they're attraction, retention, integration, as well as business entrepreneurship. Mm. All right, so that was in 2013, mm -hmm. and it's kind of moved. We're now in 2017 now. I don't know if you noticed on the calendar. It's late, late in the year. Yeah, it is. It moves quick. So, uh, yeah, so we actually have uh, one year left to our strategy mm -hmm. uh, about that, and uh, we're moving full ahead, and uh, it'll certainly be completed by the end of next year. Uh, there's a lot of uh, really interesting activities that have come out of it, uh, excellent partnerships with community stakeholders. Uh, just to give you an example, um, we implemented about two years ago the Greater Moncton Local Immigration Partnership, which was one of the, uh, the key objectives within that strategy. And really what that is, is for our community to work together. Uh, we know that it's one thing to help attract immigrants to our region and international students, but it's another thing to keep them. Uh, and we really need to work as a community to ensure that when people do move here, uh, that they're provided with all the supports that they need um, to not only you know, get their kids enrolled in school, but also to find a job, start a business, and to really stay in our region. Um, you know, there's so much opportunity within the Greater Moncton area, uh, and it's really about a lot of uh, you know, really great stakeholders working together, whether it's our settlement agencies, three levels of government, um, or our ethnocultural associations as well, for instance, and, and our economic development agencies. There's just a lot of momentum happening within our region, and it's exciting that we have this council uh, of really interested individuals that are working in collaboration to really put together some tangible actions to implement our strategy. Hmm. That sounds like there's so many different things you have to look at and consider because, I mean, you've just named 15 or 16 different <laughs> things that, that all have to kind of act in tandem to make all this work. So, mm -hmm. so what's it like to keep kind of, you know, keep all those things up in the air? Well, I think it's really a matter of, uh, of having a lot of good partners working in collaboration. So we have our council, for instance, uh, that, you know, oversees the strategy uh, as well as four working groups. And the working groups, you know, involve eight to ten, uh, you know, individuals, community leaders um, that really take a look at what that strategy item is and helps develop clear action plans uh, to help implement it. So um, it's really a matter of everyone working together, but also we also have to be very responsive to um, the different dynamics that are happening within our region. And uh, I mean, it's certainly an exciting spot in Moncton. Everything's always changing and everything's growing, and uh, it's definitely a good time for immigrants to move to our region. Mm. And, and kind of in mentioning that, and we'll get away from the logistics a little bit, but certainly you've talked to a number of recent immigrants throughout this program. Mm -hmm. I, you know, why Moncton? Obviously, they're talking to you about that kind of stuff. So why do they choose here? Absolutely. So that's a great, great question. I ask people that all the time. I'm always really interested to know why. 
Uh, so uh, a lot of the times we hear we have excellent economic opportunities. Uh, so we have one of the fastest growing regions, uh, in, obviously in Atlantic Canada, uh, and essentially our city, we feel like it's certainly in a boom right now. So people are moving for economic opportunities often. Um, so we have a wide variety of jobs available here. Uh, we have a lot of key sectors, and that's what really, I think, pulls a lot of people uh, to Greater Moncton is the fact that our economy is diversified. Um, you know, if you look at finance, logistics, IT, trucking, transportation, uh, or logistics, there's just so many different types of positions available. Uh, so when immigrants are taking a look about where they want to move, when you see yourself in the position or the skill sets that you can contribute, um, you certainly would choose a region. On top of that, our quality of life here is, is really incredible, and it's probably something we all take for granted quite often, but, you know, clean water, clean air, 15 minutes away from the beach, a vibrant downtown, you know, excellent arts and culture scene. There's just really a lot of things to do within our region. Uh, and so prior to immigrants often moving here, they do visits, uh, exploratory visits. And, uh, you know, it's a great way for them to learn about our region. But um, there's certainly a lot of reasons why people are choosing, uh, you know, Greater Moncton as their, their destination of choice. And we're certainly happy to have them come. Mm. And that's, that kind of leads to the next part, because if you, if you read it where immigrants are settling in Canada, it's of course Montreal, Toronto, Vancouver, but there's a lot of them that are coming here. You know, mm -hmm. so, so are you guys doing anything special in order to really attract them here, or do you think do you find that they come to you guys and then you guys do the rest? Oh, we do a lot of special things to help <laughs> attract them here. So uh, that is something that uh, we're very proactive on. Uh, you know, we know that uh, in our region, you know, across New Brunswick, we need to increase our population. If we want to continue to provide uh, services to the public, if we want to continue to have good roads, hospital care, and all those things, as well as pensions, we know that we need to continue to attract people uh, from across Canada, uh, but also internationally as well. Um, so some of the things that we would do, for instance, whether it's the province of New Brunswick leading it through their population growth department or the federal government, uh, but we often uh, do attraction missions overseas. Um, also, we work with uh, you know, the province as well to see what we can do. We're active on social media as well. And a lot of it is also word of mouth. So right now we have you know, a growing ethnocultural association communities with probably over about 20 ethnocultural associations now in Moncton. And uh, so these communities are growing. So just to give you an example, the Brazilian community here in Moncton is growing very quickly. Well, they also talk to each other as well. And you know, if you have a good quality of life somewhere and you have a great economic opportunity, like a job or you've started a business, oftentimes those people will talk to their family and friends and then they'll also move as well. If you look at our, uh, the Greater Moncton Russian uh, Association as well, uh, they even have their own television show, for instance, too. So mm -hmm. I think a lot of it is happening. The province is working very hard on attracting people, the federal government as well, but also um, just the fact that we are a great place to, to live and to raise a family. Plus, you can get an excellent job and you have an excellent opportunity to open a business. All those things combined um, really make it so people are coming to our region, even just from word of mouth as well. Mm. Now, mm -hmm. we, hate, we hate to say it, but we're getting older. Mm -hmm. you know, we're just sitting here right now, we're getting older. But the, the population of New Brunswick and Moncton, it, it is skewing a little bit older. So is this kind of the way to look at it to kind of replace some of that, some of that, uh, some of that decline with some more growth? Is this where the immigration strategy comes in, or do you think that... Oh, absolutely. And that's really the whole purpose of the immigration strategy. You know, one of the purposes was to help attract and we have, you know, we've implemented tangible actions in order to help attract immigrants, but also to keep them here. But uh, certainly our aging population across New Brunswick, we had more deaths than births last year. I mean, that is extremely concerning. Mm. Uh, so we need to continue to attract um, uh, from larger urban areas such as Toronto and Montreal, where perhaps um, immigrants opportunities there aren't as good as they would be within our region because really there's so much more competition in our bigger urban cities in Canada that you will not find that same type of competition here in Greater Moncton. There's just so much more for you to be able to access here. Um, but really, the immigrants that we are welcoming here and you know, across internationally as well, immigrants tend to be younger as well than our, than our native-born population too. So um, if we, you know, with so many people also retiring, we certainly need to look at uh, continuing to attract immigrants also continuing to make sure that the immigrants that we do have here 
um, have access to employment and have you know excellent business opportunities as we have a lot of people that are also transitioning out of their businesses uh, and would for instance like uh, another family to take it over so we're seeing a lot of that movement too mm -hmm. uh, which is exciting here but um, yeah it's certainly uh, it's certainly an exciting time in Moncton the recent uh, census data that was recently released for our Moncton CMA we saw a pretty good increase in the amount of uh, immigrants that are deciding to move to Moncton and stay in Moncton uh, plus, on top of that, we have so many international students now mm -hmm. in our post-secondary institutions, uh, and we're working very closely with those institutions as well to see, you know, what kind of economic opportunities are they looking for when they're done their studies, and how can we help match them to the labor force as well. And, uh, but really, everything we do, we do it in partnership, and uh, I think that's probably our biggest strength within the greater Moncton area is our partners working together, working with immigrants on the ground and everyone to make sure that you know it is the best place you can live. Yeah, just bring it together. So Angelic Reddy Kalala, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. The Immigration Strategy Officer. Anytime I need to plan out some immigration, we're going to give you a call. I am here.